Before the November 3rd election, I produced a video titled, I Stand with Ice Cube. In this video, I affirm the efforts of Ice Cube, who presented to the public, to American politicians in particular, a contract with Black America. We are past the November 3rd election. And I want to say to the entire world that I still stand with Ice Cube. I do not think that Ice Cube did anything wrong. I think that Ice Cube did a good thing. Ice Cube looked at the landscape, the political landscape of black America. And Ice Cube saw complacency. He saw complacency among black leaders. He saw complacency among black politicians complacency among black activists and complacency among black elites at a variety of levels. And what Ice Cube did was stand in a leadership vacuum. And what he did was craft a contract after consulting with economists such as Derek Hamilton and talking to people who are part of the reparations movement and he created this document, which was concerned primarily, is concerned with the wealth, position, and status of black people in the United States. And Ice Cube did absolutely nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong by meeting or contacting the Democratic Party, represented by Joe Biden. He did absolutely nothing wrong with contacting and meeting with the Republican Party, represented by Donald Trump. Ice Cube articulated this perspective where black Americans must receive empowerment in a way that is bipartisan. And I affirm that. Ice Cube affirmed the idea that black people must play a game of power and that being enfranchised economically, materially, means that we deal with it on the basis of power and not just party politics alone. And I affirm all of that. I affirm the fact that Ice Cube recognizes that it is not enough for black people to be satisfied or content with hollow symbolism. It is not enough to be satisfied with shallow representation. It is not enough to be content with a politics of sitting next to white people. I affirm Ice Cube. I stand with Ice Cube in his efforts to overcome this weak, tired, soft, ineffective way in which black people have done politics for decades. I stand with Ice Cube in the face of criticism, in the face of vitriol, since he presented his contract with Black America to the American public. All of the critiques that have been directed towards him by elites, by feminists, by Black liberals, those who have criminalized him simply because he sat down with members of the Trump administration, I stand with him in the face of all of that horror, all of that unnecessary pathology. I stand with him because he decided to be a leader. He decided, a black man who had nothing to benefit, nothing to gain by be, being political in this fashion, he decided to exhibit leadership in a place where leadership needed to be demonstrated. And I still stand with Ice Cube in this endeavor. Not only do I stand with Ice Cube in this endeavor, I extend with any black person, particularly any black man who dares to stand up, who dares to exhibit leadership in the face of a vacuum, who dares to present a contract with black America, who dares to address the material position, the wealth situation of black people in the United States. And I want the entire world to know that if you hate Ice Cube, 
then go ahead and hate me. And if you hate black men like Ice Cube, go ahead and hate me. I still stand with Ice Cube.